Today, I'll be reviewing this beauty of a watch. It's the ISL 17 from Island Watch. As you can see, it's a pilot watch or an aviator watch, if you will. This is part of my series of Islander watch reviews. So, I'm Francois, and it's time to watch. For those of you who follow my channel, as you know, I'm in a series of Island watch reviews specifically the Islander. This is an Islander, even if you can't see the logo. There are a few logos on here, but not on the dial. And we'll look at the details of the descriptions, uh, the characteristics and the measurements. And also this is a first run of the ISL 17 and we'll compare it with the newest run. There are only a few differences, but just to mention them, uh, it's well worth it. So let's get right into the measurements themselves. The, uh, this watch has a diameter of 42 millimeters. It has a lug to lug of 48 millimeters and a thickness of 12 millimeters with this flat, very flat sapphire crystal. And as you can see, here's one of the logos. The other logo is on the buckle right here. So this is a signed buckle. It has a leather strap and you can see here that it also has a date. Well, a few of the differences are that the leather strap is not quite the same as the initial one, but you know, it's still kind of the same as the look and feel. The other thing is, you notice here, there's a date, but not on the new, newest run. So what happens is that when you unscrew this screw down crown, position one, you can wind it, position two, you can change the date, and position three, you can change the time. On the newest run is that you only have two positions. You have the first position where you wind and as soon as you get to the first position, you can change the date and change the time. What are the differences? Well, in here, you have an NH36 modified with no day, only the date. And on the newest version, you have a true no date NH38. So those are the main differences. If you screw down here, you have the full capabilities of 100 meters. Let's look at the case back. Well, it's a special case back, as you can see. As I mentioned, it's 100 meters. Sapphire crystal is from Island Watch, and it's an Islander. But what's special about this is that you see that plane here is an F-14. Two things is that Mark at Long Island Watch, at Island Watch, I should say, is um, was working for a company who made parts for this plane. But not only that, this plane was featured in the movie Top Gun. So it's a nice, uh, it's a nice touch. You notice as well, maybe here, it's a screw down crown, a sc screw down case back, to uh, give you the full capabilities of that hundred meter water resistance. I like the fact that you have a com combination of polished and brushed stainless steel. So this is one thing that attracted me, but mostly because of the legibility. A pilot watch needs to be legible. And as you can see here, you can really see the time really well. There are two things is that you have uh, numerals that are really clear and you have a great contrast between the dark blue and that white, uh, those white markers, the numerals and the markers themselves. They're all loomed except that, uh, that second hand that's uh, going around here. So you have sword-like hands that are loomed. I'll show you the full loom as well because all the indices, all the markers, all the numerals are all loomed and they're really, really bright. It'll last all night once you charge it up. So that's another thing that attracted me to this, to this watch. You have a lug width of 22 millimeters, so you can change the strap as you see fit. The only thing is it doesn't have drilled lugs and it doesn't have quick release 
straps. So you'll need a tool to take out the lug bars right here and change them. But I have not changed it. I've, I really like that suppleness of that genuine leather, as you can see here. It's also signed Islander. It's not a logo, but still, it's still signed. And it's thick enough so that it's resistant enough to wear and tear. So let me just put it on my wrist. I'll show you what it looks like, and then we'll wrap this up. Here it is on my seven inch wrist. I feel that uh, it's a nice proportion. I like larger watches so, so that 42 millimeters is a full 42 millimeters because it doesn't have a, 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 a thick bezel. It's a fixed bezel. And also it hugs well on the wrist with those curved in lug, lugs. And uh, it's not too thick. It's 12 millimeters so it wears well on the wrist. The, um, the other watch that I had on my wrist was this one. This is the one that I unboxed recently. It's the Help Me Build This watch. And this is going to be my next review. So I really like this watch. It's an everyday pilot watch. I wear it often. As you can see here, it wears well uh, if you have a larger um, larger wrist you have room to grow and a smaller wrist you still have a few holes here and I like the look of that leather because what the wear and tear makes it look like it's it gives character so if you like this watch or like these types of reviews don't hesitate press that like button and of course I encourage you to subscribe and if you do subscribe don't hesitate press that notification bell so that you'll be notified every time I come out with a review, including these Island Watch reviews. So thanks for tuning in and hope to see you next time.